I intended to get a US visa to work as a nurse in the United States. My family and I were pretty excited because this was basically the last phase of our preparation. And you are looking forward to good results. Then when we had our chest X-ray, it was so suggestive of uh, TB. So we were informed the following day we were supposed to come and do the sputum. One, two, three test, sputum test for mycobacteria. And we got through the very anxious moment of waiting. Second week, third week, fourth week. And I got the call from IOM. I have to come and see my results. And they knew this is it. I got so shocked. I didn't even want to speak to people. I am harboring the bacteria. I've been infecting people all this long. My patients, my family. I felt so sad. Were it not for immigration, I wouldn't know I'm sick. I literally cried the whole journey until I reached home because to me it appeared like the world has just crumbled and didn't know what to do next. I had already invested so much in the initial process. So when I was told that all your subsequent tests, your spew terms, your follow-ups are covered by the clinic, it was a bit of a relief for me and my family. And I'm so grateful because the clinic took me through a very intense guiding and counselling. And uh, we were also given the treatment guidelines, which require that you do the daily observation of treatment at the clinic. Looking at the complexity and the sensitivity of having a TB bacteria in your body, it really requires very close and intense monitoring. So with time over the five, first five months, I've come to appreciate that uh, Daily observation of treatment is key. So I took down the, my first tablet and I had a number of issues from emotions to gastric into, uh, disturbance, feeling a very nasty taste in the mouth, feeling like I'm having my heart racing, I don't know if I'm tired, I'm not tired, do I want to eat, I don't want to eat. I felt a lot of ranging issues in my body. But the second month slightly got better. I was living in denial until the fourth month is when I accepted, okay, I will pull through, I will overcome, and I need to overcome in style. I need to speak about this. I need people to know that they can get support. I thank God because IOM supportive staff have come out very strongly, right from the sputum, the guards, our colleagues at the clinic, uh, the, the doctors. I'll feel more confident to speak about TB because as a survivor, as somebody who's gone through the treatment, I'm removing the myth, I'm demystifying that. This treatment is so difficult, this treatment is, is nasty, this treatment is a prison thing. So I want to let people know that you can always overcome, don't fear the diagnosis. To me it was a blessing in disguise to be diagnosed because your health is your wealth. You don't need to look for wealth when you're not healthy. My family is safe, my patients are safe, my community is safe and I'm looking forward to be a TB advocate to continue talking about TB prevention, early diagnosis, early testing, prompt treatment and complete treatment.